Hello everyone, my name is Aurelia Rita Marcellus. Welcome to Africa Web TV. Today we are at an African restaurant in The Hague where a Green Party candidate from the upcoming European Parliament election is discussing his policies and his vision with some of the Dutch African voters. What made you choose this approach? You know, I have been living uh, for about seven years in Africa. Yeah, where exactly? In Congo, yeah. in Nigeria, in Kenya. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, I, uh, yeah um, I'm very much at ease. And I yeah. know that if you want to reach uh, uh, an audience, you shouldn't only be talking to them, but uh, talk with them. A lot of African entrepreneurs are interested in doing business with Europe, with the Netherlands in particular. But they are facing a lot of uh, difficulties getting visa because it's here there is an image of uh, migration, it's negative. People, they think all Africans are coming to Europe to stay. So what are you going to do about that? We have a very youthful continent. People are really very energetic. Let's not only see it as a threat, but see it especially also as an opportunity to engage with. So which also means that you have uh, a different type of uh, visa regimes, you know? So. Uh, of course, uh, we know that sometimes uh, abuses are made of visa, so I don't say that, oh, we should open all travel and uh, you should don't even have a passport to go come in. No, uh, there needs to be some checks, but at the same time, we need to be able to, to move ahead. So Europeans say, we want to deal with Africa, everything but arms, so we trade everything but arms, but you can't import sugar or potato. What are you going to do about that? What you lay down is the lobby of certain individuals and certain companies, which is very strong at Europe, the European level. And there's not enough, uh, there's not enough scrutiny, uh, and, uh, and there's not enough checks on what uh, the European bureaucrats are doing. That's why I think it's important to have uh, a strong and independent parliament at the European level who can actually check these kinds of things. I have a question from my own experience in my home country. It was Papua's home of world's biggest gold mine and know what it is to have such resources in your country where you can't benefit from it. And we see the same things happening in a lot of countries in Africa. How can we change the policy from Europe so the people in those countries can benefit from their own resources? But what you see is that those mining companies, they don't use enough local labor. So they always, you see that also with the Chinese when they go to Africa, they always bring in their own people instead of empowering and training local people. And I think we need to have more African engineers, more African geologists, more African lawyers, so that really more of the wealth actually uh, stays there. I want to ask you only one thing. Support this young guy, Dirk Jan. And don't stay at home when uh, other people are going to vote. We will elect you and uh, come back here and we will eat again. Thank you very much. My name is Alphonse Mwambi. Yeah. Uh, I'm a part of the African, a big African uh, community in the Netherlands. So uh, for me it was very important to connect the African community to the candidates who are uh, running for the European, uh, European Parliament to bring these people together to exchange the views and the vision about uh, the relationship between Africa and Europe and also the relationship between the African di diaspora and the, um, the politicians in Europe. Having organized this event today, mm -hmm. do you, what do you feel? What do you feel about the candidature of Jan? Dirk Jan? Uh, Dirk Jan Kor is more than a candidate. He is a human being. He is very connected to the people. Dirk Jan Kor is a part of us, part of Africa, part of Europe. They won't vote, so they'll come and say the things that you want to hear. Yeah. But after they've been elected, what exactly do they do? Do they really do the things that they say that they're going to do? But the candidate said that he is very much in touch with the society. Yeah, but yeah. they all are. <laughs> like at the end of the day, they yeah. all are. Yeah. They all are in touch with the community. If they weren't, like if they weren't, they won't be here in the first place. A lot of people speculate and they say that there are a lot of people that go to Brussels and they forget about, you know, the people that elected them. So if elected, are you going to be one of those 
visitors to the Netherlands or, and you know a resident of Brussels or what approach would you like to have that is different from other candidates? Well, do you think they will let me escape? You know, uh, if you saw those people, no, uh, they will make sure that I will follow through on the things that I have said and you can count on that. There you have it guys, we had such an amazing day. My name is Aurelia Rito Marcellus from Africa Web TV and as I always say, be good to yourself. Bye! Thank you for watching this video. First thing you have to do is please like this video wherever you find it, Facebook, Twitter or YouTube. And my friends here told me you should subscribe to the channel. So stay tuned for more and we're looking forward to seeing you again. Yo, I'm in control, no drive test. I love the person in the mirror if you like Vex.